Hi everyone, it's Paul DC World, and we're here today at special screening of uh, Rob Eiling's film Living in Crime Alley, Batman film, and I'm here with the lead actor Vincent Duran. Hello. Hello, how you doing, man? Not nice bad. to meet you. Uh, now, Vince, uh, when you watch this on Friday the 13th, when it airs on YouTube, uh, plays the main character. Tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, my character is a single father who's uh, struggling to raise his young daughter in. Uh, the east end of Gotham City, um, specifically the area known as Crime Alley, which to all you Batman fans know the significance of that um, particular place. So yeah, that's 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 things that happen. And uh, some of the, the uh, heralds of living there and uh, poverty and all sorts going on there. What I did like about this was just the uh, style of it. Um, the film was focused on you as like your family there, but I could see how this could go off to others with other perspectives. I like that idea as well. Yeah, no, um, I think one of the things that really, like, I'm a, I'm a massive Batman fan. I've been a, I've been a Batman fan since I was little. Um, Into the badge of the ATF, yeah, there's a Batman. Exactly. Yeah. Have to, this is also a little uh, homage to uh, to Rob, who is uh, who is the badge master. Um, but yeah, so I've been a Batman fan for, for years, and he's still my favourite superhero. Um, but when I read the script, it was, I mean, it's a Batman film, but it focused on people of Gotham. And so much, like when we watch films or TV shows or read the comics, it's so um, Batman centric. As obviously, because he's the he's the, he's the lead. Yeah. But um, I really wanted to do this film because, again, you don't get to see these people, no. the, or their stories been told. No, it's so always yeah. about Batman, and it's all about the yeah. story going on there, not about the people and their lives and what's yeah. going on in Gotham. Which I like that idea. I know it's a short film, but mm -hmm. even the soundtrack's amazing. Oh yeah, I've, it's like it's the first time I've seen it today, and the soundtrack is just. Phenomenal, like big, like, big budget film. Like, yeah, I've got that feeling in there. And even like, and this isn't spoilers, um, but even like moments where there it's more kind of quieter, more sensitive moments in the film. It's just the soundtrack just tugs yeah. at the heartstrings. Right? Yeah, I did so, like, I did like, didn't yeah. feel like a, a little fan film. It's filmed on an iPhone. It feels like a big film. Well, that's only on for ten minutes, mm. uh, but it did feel like that. Uh, and I just wish you all the best. I'm not going to give too much away. To want the fans to see what it was. Yeah, here. definitely. Um, um, a little bird tells me. You had a little part with Patty Jenkins in Wonder Woman 84 coming next summer. Um, I can confirm that I did uh, have the pleasure of working with Patty um, on a film that may or may not be Wonder Woman 84. Um, yeah, I, I, I have nothing but nice things to say about her. Uh, she's, she's an absolute doll. Um, and I'm so excited for the film. Not just because I'm in it, because I would have been excited anyway. But I've seen some things which you guys haven't seen. Um, or, sorry, I should say, I've potentially seen things that you guys haven't seen that will uh, blow your mind. Cool. Oh, we'll have to leave that there. We'll leave that a little teaser for you guys. Who knows? Just got to wait till June for that one. But Vincent, yeah. I wish you all the best. Best with this film. Thank uh, you very much, mate. Thanks yeah. for your time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you, finally. Thank you, and you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers guys, check it out Friday 13th on YouTube, leaving in Time Alley.